Item number, SCP-367, Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-367's containment area is to be checked daily for damage done by SCP-367. Any and all damage to containment area is to be repaired immediately. Should damage exceed that which can be repaired in a 12-hour period, SCP-367 is to be moved to a temporary containment area and kept under constant observation while repairs are made. Any attempts by SCP-367 to damage or escape containment are to immediately be met with Chemical Suppression Tactic A-11. Every two hours, SCP-367 is to be provided with one kilogram of feed, which may be composed of any available biomatter. In the event that no suitable biomass is available, other items may be provided for consumption and CST-A11 is to be placed on standby in case of rejection behavior by SCP-367. SCP-367 is to be weighed after each feeding period to monitor weight and density increase leading up to division. Additional instances of SCP-367 forming in containment are to be disposed of. No unprotected interaction with SCP-367 is to be undertaken unless it is within 30 minutes of a feeding period. SCP-367 may not be removed from the containment area without approval by Site Command. No instances of SCP-367 are to be released to staff for any purpose other than testing. Description: SCP-367 appears to be a small dog of variable breed, most often appearing as a small brown puppy. SCP-367 exhibits a slightly elevated appetite and activity level for a dog of its apparent age and size, and does not sleep, but otherwise behaves as expected for a dog. SCP-367 is a massive single-celled organism, composed of what appears to be a mass of yellow slime, with several white threads suspended in it, with a semi-solid sphere of grey material in the center, deemed the nucleus. It is unknown what SCP-367 is made of, or why its outer shell appears to be a juvenile dog. However, testing data expunged. Further investigation. The strings appear to function as the muscular skeletal system, and under most circumstances, the movement and general behavior of SCP-367 are indistinguishable from a normal dog. SCP-367 is capable of feeding on any solid matter and has shown the ability to dissolve and digest concrete, steel, titanium, carbon fiber, bone, wood, data expunged. When presented with an item that cannot fit into the external shell's mouth or be broken down with the teeth, SCP-367 will project pseudopodia from its internal mass and break down the matter into a consumable form. It is unknown how this occurs as no acid is used, but it appears to be a disruption of the basic atomic bonds of the matter which is still under investigation. SCP-367 does not increase in size when consuming items, but does increase in density. In addition, SCP-367 does not produce any waste. After consuming enough material to double its starting mass, SCP-367 will find an isolated location, such as in a cabinet or under furniture, and liquefy its outer shell. It will then divide into two equal masses and reform its outer shell, creating two instances of SCP-367. If SCP-367 is left without food for more than three hours, the internal strings will project from the eyes and mouth areas of SCP-367 and attempt to bore into and break down all nearby matter. In this state, SCP-367 is highly aggressive and has been observed to data expunged. Notes on Recovery SCP-367 was recovered from the residential home of Miss Myra Bancroft in Ireland. Mrs. Bancroft was reported missing several days before, and Foundation staff established containment of her residence when it was reported that she had over 80 small dogs in her home, which had consumed her corpse and most of the home. A single instance of SCP-367 was recovered, with all other instances eliminated 
via CSTA-11. Ongoing monitoring is in effect to isolate any remaining SCP-367 outside of containment. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-366, Carriage Grubs, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist. <laughs>